Well, I think that part of this has to do with long-term planning. It's just not addressing current needs or just the, the needs of the day. Uh, but it has to do with the, our, our planning for our system generally. And so I think one particular road is Waypoint Way. I think that's been in the works for many years. A lot of promises have been made about upgrading that, that street, and it needs to be upgraded. Um, there's others as, as well, but in, in terms of, I think as, as a council, what you do is you go through a plan where you figure out where the highest need is, and you focus the dollars where that need is. And you know, one point way comes to mind is one in particular that, that certainly needs to be upgraded. Okay. <clears throat> a couple of things on that. The uh, I'm very familiar with the road fund. It takes in about 2.8 million a year, and unfortunately, and this happened at a, two council meetings ago, that. Public Works Director doesn't really have any sort of comprehensive inventory of 140 miles of road on the island and what their condition is and what their priority for repair is. That combined with the fact that of that 2.8 million, last year they fixed a grand total of four miles of road between Chip Seal on it at a cost of $100,000 per mile. You know, doing little tiny pieces like that just doesn't make any sense. I mean, I know how to take that money and do four to five times as many miles of roads and put them on a, a very well thought out priority and cycle so that we do maintain higher quality roads. We don't need to be spending doing you know, little drips and drabs and spending $100,000 per mile when it should be about $35,000 per mile to do that if we do enough quantity 